Do you know someone who's had a laparoscopy and you've wondered, what is that? Today I'm going to talk about laparoscopic surgery, what it is, and why do we do it? And so if that sounds good to you, please continue watching. Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. DuPont. I'm a board-certified gynecologic oncologist, and I am passionate about educating women on how to improve their lives, and I believe that starts with great health. Today we're going to talk about a surgical procedure called the laparoscopy. Now, when we talk about laparoscopy, there's kind of two ways that we define it in kind of in doctor's term. One is a diagnostic laparoscopy, and one is an operative laparoscopy. So diagnostic laparoscopy is, is just we're doing this procedure to see what's causing someone's pain or infertility. So it's just kind of to put a camera inside the abdomen and to look around to see if there's anything wrong. Sometimes we'll do that just because we're not sure why a patient's having pain or discomfort. The other term is operative laparoscopy, and what that means is that we're going to do something we're gonna treat something we're either gonna you know remove your gallbladder or we're gonna remove your appendix or remove your ovary or remove a cyst operative just means we're kind of doing more than just looking so what a laparoscopic surgery is put co2 gas in the abdomen and insufflate it or distend it and we use a small camera called a laparoscope to look around in the abdomen it's a very common procedure it's actually done much more often these days I remember when I was in training that you know we love to do laparoscopic surgeries because the patient Patients, you know, they got better faster, they returned to work quicker, and they had smaller incisions. Oftentimes, the surgery may take longer because we're using kind of instruments that are smaller to do complex surgery, but as your experience grows, the doctor and the team gets faster at it, but it does take a little bit longer sometimes than open surgery. So when we're talking about a laparoscopic procedure, we're using very small instruments to do surgery in the abdomen. And there's many different types of laparoscopic procedures, you know, there's single site laparoscopic procedures procedures, there's robotic laparoscopic assisted procedures, and then there's laparoscopic procedures for many different reasons, you know, whether it's your gallbladder or your appendix or, you know, as a gynecologist, what we'll do is we'll remove the uterus laparoscopically or ovaries or maybe assist on the ovaries. So there's lots of things that we do through the laparoscope. We also remove lymph nodes and things like that. So how is the procedure done? So typically what your doctor will talk to you about is one, is why they're doing the surgery so that you understand you know what the benefit of the surgery is then they'll talk to you about you know what's going to be removed or what the procedure is that's planned and so a lot of times when I'm doing a laparoscopic surgery for my purposes I do them mainly because there's something wrong with either the uterus or their ovary so I'm either removing the ovaries laparoscopically or the uterus or lymph nodes for evaluation of cancer or precancer conditions and when we're using the laparoscopy one of the nice benefits as we mentioned earlier was that the decisions are small there's a decreased risk of infections, patients heal better, and they actually go back to work sooner. And so that's the nice thing about laparoscopy. Now, some of the complications of laparoscopic surgery is that sometimes, you know, I may get in, I start everything laparoscopic, and I can see because I'll have a nice camera, but sometimes because of the patient's anatomy or prior surgeries, I can't complete the surgery laparoscopically. And so usually on the consent form, the doctor will say possible laparotomy or possible open surgery. So for any reason, if you can't can't tolerate the laparoscopic surgery or for some reason you have adhesions or scar tissue or maybe you had an unexpected finding where the doctor has to make a big incision or a laparotomy then that can also happen. doesn't happen often but usually I know in my consent forms I'll put possible laparotomy because you never know what may happen. Typically the laparoscopic surgeries are outpatient. Most patients go home the same day or the next day. Usually you can drive a lot sooner than when you have an open surgery. Patients use less narcotics have decreased risk of infections because the incisions are much smaller and usually patients just heal faster. Some complications though may be pain and that's something that you may let your doctor know. Usually the pain will happen for a few days but then each day it gets better. If your pain is getting worse every day definitely let your doctor know. I mean, you may have some shoulder pain. Usually it's the right shoulder. It is called referred pain. Usually that's due to irritation from the CO2 gas on the upper abdomen or the diaphragm and that usually goes away with time. I've had some patients use like heat eating pad, pain medicine will help, but typically just time. And other causes of complications are infection. You may get some redness around your incisions, or you may have some problems with your bladder, either you're having a bladder infection or can't use the restroom like you were. Those are things that you can talk to your healthcare provider or your physician after surgery. 
But overall, most patients do very well, and the laparoscopic surgery allows you to return to your normal activity much sooner, and most of the time you're able to go home from surgery that same day. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions or if you've had a laparoscopic surgery and you want to share some of your experiences, definitely put them in the comments below. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.